Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's November 4th. I'm here with Chris Flossie from BAM's Capital Market Desk. I'm coming from the Bond Dealers of America's annual National Fixed Income Conference, which just wrapped up this morning here in Charlotte. Uh, Chris, uh, while we were here in Charlotte, the markets were uh, interesting this week. Uh, a lot of volatility bouncing around uh, until this morning's uh, jobs report. What kind of uh, movements did you see? Yeah, so earlier in the week, like as you mentioned, it was relatively sluggish. I think the market was really waiting to hear the anticipated decision from the Fed when they increased rates by 75 basis points. And then this week, they waited toward for the job number that came out a little bit better than expected. But that uh, unemployment rate did increase a little bit based on the participation rate. Um, muni trading was, it picked up later in the week once the market settled down. Overall, we still had lower than average bid wanted and trading activity in the secondary market. Um, and overall, for the market, the munis outperformed very, very slightly. Yeah, some definitely interesting feedback at this conference. A lot of uh, interest in munis from retail investors at these higher yields, some of the highest yields they've seen in years, obviously. Um, but institutional demand is still sluggish. We saw another week of outflows, more than $2 billion of outflows from mutual funds this week. So uh, overall, demand is still quiet. Right. I agree. So in the new issue market, uh, fairly interesting uh, week for BAM, relatively quiet week for the market overall, less than $5 billion. But uh, what did you see from the BAM insured account? Sure. BAM was pretty active. We had a total of $330 million, uh, of par priced over the week. And that was 15 series across six states. Uh, the real deal that had to highlight this week was the $212 million Eastern Michigan University student housing deal and that price with Barclays. So considering how choppy the market was earlier in the week and when the deal priced, the market, the deal price very well. There was subscription up and down the, the, the curve and the, the yields were very favorable towards the issuer. And that's part of a massive reinvestment in the campus at that uh, public university in Michigan where they're going to, uh, they have seen some enrollment declines, both due to demographics as well as uh, the aging of their physical plant, quite frankly. And so the new, uh, this new transaction will finance new housing that they think is going to really help stabilize that and set them on a path for the future. So we'll watch uh, to see how that plays out. Mm -hmm. uh, looking ahead again, another quiet week, about $5 billion total on the, on the calendar for next week. Uh, any transactions you're watching for? Um, overall, like you said, the market is relatively light again next week. There's lots of high grade issuers towards the, the top end of that of the calendar, with three or four or $500 million issuances. Uh, we expect a robust competitive calendar, which we expect to be active. So we'll be submitting a lot of bids for in that market this week. All right, stay busy. We'll uh, touch base next week and see how it goes. Thanks, Mike.